what you're gonna have the gymnast do is you're gonna be in a lunge, shoulders in your ears, you're gonna go down, lever, grab the block, come back up in a lunge, and then bring it down, place the block on the beam, and bring it back up. Lovely. Okay, over here you're gonna put the archways up, they're gonna go down, reaching over the archways, touch the square, and then come back up. Good. Then once they've done both of those, they can just hop on the beam. All they're gonna do is lunge in front of the square and then just lever down. Touch the beam and come back up. Good, one more time. Touch the beam and come back up. Then you can have them make sure they reach over the square, not to touch it. So feet in front. Reach over the square, no touching it. And come back up. One more time. Reach completely over, don't touch it, and come back up. Good. So the gymnast is gonna go up in a handstand. Her hands are gonna go on right underneath the P-bars. You're gonna squeeze tight, lifting tall, and then come down. Good. Once they can do that, they can come over to the low beam, put a mat against the wall. Their hands go tight against the edge of the beam, so they're a straight line. They hold it, and then come down. Okay, so you have the gymnast start in a lunge. They're gonna kick up to a handstand on the spotting block or a foldable cheese mat. And they're gonna split and land on the beam in a lunge. Good, so their thumbs go together and their hands wrap around the beam. And then they come down in a lunge. Good. Once they do that, they can do it over an archway, reaching over the colored square as well. They kick up, they hold, and then they come back down in a lunge with their hands up. Try again, keep your hands up. Ready, go down, hold, split, hands up, and come back down, good. They can do that, they can also do a pike handstand. So they put their hands on the beam, feet on the mat, and they walk their hands. So they're a straight line from their hands to their butt. They lift one leg, they hold that for 10 seconds, and then they'll lift the other leg, making sure their butt stays up in the air and then they can come down. Once they can do that, you're gonna put a strap on their hands to keep their hands up, because a lot of gymnasts like to bring their hands down when they come off. So they kick up into a handstand, hold, split, and come back down into a lunge. Good. Once they can do that, keeping their hands up, they can do it over a square. They kick up all the way, split, and come down. Okay, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna do a handstand uphill, trying to hit vertical, and coming back down. Good. All the way up, and then back down. Their hands go right at the edge of the beam, they hold, and then they flat back. Or they can go to a pike to land if they're tall. Doesn't really matter how they land, but as long as they hit the handstand and hold it. Okay, so there's a couple different ways of spotting a handstand, depending on what you prefer and what the girl's level is. If she's a beginner, I hold their hips and then I pull them up. This gives you complete control, split, and come back down, of whatever movement they're doing. If they're more advanced, you can use their stomach and their back. That way you're only spotting, making sure they stay hollow. And then go ahead and do one by yourself. You wanna make sure they try to get all the way up to vertical. Do it one more time. If you need to, you can grab their legs and just hold their legs to get them up to vertical. 